when I look at treatment, I want to look at what, what is the lowest common denominator? What is the one thing that we can affect that is going to make the biggest change in somebody's health? That is really my treatment philosophy, is keep things as natural as possible. Find the thing that is going to have the biggest change, affect that first, and then we can make additional changes from there. My treatment philosophy is really just to look at the patient as a whole person, uh, body, mind, and spirit. Um, I like to look at more than just the physical health and kind of look at the spiritual and mental health as well. Um, medications can only change so much in us physically, so focusing on that uh, mindfulness and the spiritual aspect of the patient can impact the physical health in such a huge way. Um, I like to build a partnership with patients, not just make decisions for them to kind of make that working relationship and make decisions together and empower the patient to make the best decisions for their health. That's why we brought her in. I mean, that's <laughs> Our, our treatment easy. philosophies are very similar in, in things like this. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's not just one aspect of health that we can affect. We have to bring all mm -hmm. aspects of health together, the physical, the chemical, and the emotional, because if you don't, you're only partially you're treating healthy. Treating one thing mm -hmm. versus yeah. the, whole, mm -hmm. the whole aspect. Yep, there's a reason that she's here. Like I said, we, we're excited to add her because she she fits everything that, that what our treatment embodies. What happens if Katie becomes more popular than you in <laughs> That's highly likely, so <laughs> keep it or yeah, I, I already gave up on that one. People, people make fun of me without, without anything, so I, I'm guessing that's probably going to be the case. <laughs> From the very beginning when I met with you and when we talked even for the first time, it was honestly just this gut feeling like this is the right place for me. Um, and it's one of those things where you're, you know, when you try and fight your gut, you're like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I need to see what else is out there. Your gut feeling always wins. You should always go with your yeah. instincts. And, um, yeah. yeah, I do. I mean, I think I was meant to end up here, and that's yeah. kind of how I felt through the whole process. And so yeah. I'm very grateful. It was to painful be here. waiting. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> it was painful waiting. I wanted to get up and get running on this as soon as possible. And, yeah. And you know, you're you're right. Everything you said. It's uh -huh. it's just something that you're the right addition, and mm -hmm. we're excited for it. Yeah. Well, I'm excited as well. It's a good fit. <laughs> Patients now have the option to come see me for things like physicals and management of their chronic conditions that maybe they were going to see a, another healthcare provider for. Um, I'd be happy to manage patients' medications and um, chronic conditions, health prevention, promotion, things like that. I think it just kind of adds a new dimension for them. They can come here to see you and then they can come here to see me and get the medical side of things done as well. It makes it yeah. much more convenient and it combines the two um, the two aspects of care. You know, we also have a, a treatment philosophy that's on mm -hmm. on the same level. Right. I mean, we, we both are coming about this from mm -hmm. the same level and you don't always see that, unfortunately, in, in mm -hmm. medical care. You know, everybody wants to be the one that's right and they're, mm -hmm. there's arguing back and forth. Mm -hmm. And when we're actually focusing on the patient, they are the ones that, that benefit the most from this. A lot of problems that patients face in healthcare are that they fall through the gaps with the yep. different specialists and the different providers that are involved. So this, we're both here, we're on the same team, we have a similar treatment philosophy. Yep. It just helps mm -hmm. promote that continuity of care and promote yep. the best outcomes. Definitely, and one of the biggest things I see is people, you know, they're, they're frustrated because one doctor put them on one medication and another mm -hmm. doctor put them on a different medication and told them to stop this one and there's just a lot right. of confusion on, on mm -hmm. what works best and mm -hmm. you know the the more streamlined we can make it the the less of that there's going to be. I think something I'm really excited about is we're taking you know the medical the nursing model and then the chiropractic model we're kind of making this new this new new territory yeah. I think it it's is awesome it is combining can, the two perspectives we and, can make healthcare whatever yeah, we want it to be exactly. and, and mm -hmm. the, the fact of the matter is it needs to change mm -hmm. because Oh, the yeah. way that, that most people are getting care is, is just not working. That's evidenced by the amount of mm -hmm. chronic disease that's that's out there. Mm -hmm. the, the the cost of the care that is out there. I, I mean, there's just redundancies in mm -hmm. how many different ways that the healthcare is failing people. And we've got a chance to remake that in a way that is better for them. Mm -hmm.